it's Veronica. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dark chocolate cookies. It's completely gluten free and dairy free and there's just so many uh, nutrient value in it because I'm using this 100% cacao dark chocolate. I will tell you the health benefit of 100% uh, cacao dark chocolate. It contains high antioxidant and also there's just so many uh, good nutrients in it, for instance, magnesium, potassium, iron, zinc, and copa, even selenium and manganese. This is amazing. So having this itself, you actually nurturing your body. And I'll tell you another also good step about 100% dark chocolate. It actually regulates your cholesterol level. It's HDL and LDL. They actually studied about it. It shows it proven. Another thing also, it helps support your brain function. So having this cookie actually is beneficial for you. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the ingredient. It's so simple. You will see that, oh my God, this is it. That's it. There you go. And the first, you need um, two organic free range whole eggs and one cup of um, swerve and two like this because I don't have the measuring cup the other ones the two third cup of uh, melted coconut oil and like I showed this is about 100, 100 grams it's 100% uh, cacao dark chocolate and you need two cup almond flour if uh, you have the sensitivity of almonds you can actually uh, substitute with the coconut flour and here you're going to use the sea salt about half teaspoon and you are going to need one teaspoon baking soda that's it that's all you need and then you just need the uh, two mixing bowl and baking pan and i already you know put it a uh, personal paper so it's ready to go and before i start i'm going to put my oven 350 This is baking, so let's get started. Here, I'm gonna put this a little bit to the side. But first, I'm going to add all this uh, dry ingredient first. So I'm gonna put two cups almond flour and one cup swerve. And salt, half teaspoon. and one teaspoon baking soda. And these are the dry ingredients I'm going to use with my spatula just to mix it all. And I'm gonna put it aside and now, it's a wet ingredient. I have another mixing bowl here. So I'm gonna add the first two cup, two third cup of melted coconut oil. And I'm going to add this egg. I tell you one tip: uh, when you want to use your eggs, uh, please um, remove and from the refrigerator. Just leave it at room temperature first. Otherwise, because if, when it's too cold, the eggs when you mix with the coconut oil, it freezes them. The coconut oil, so it's not easy to blend it. So now it's good. It's just smooth. You don't have to wet too much. Like this. Now, before I'm gonna mix this one together, I'm gonna prepare dark chocolate ready to go. So all I have to do, I need some, yeah, I'm just gonna use my hand. I'm going to just chop it first. 
smart places. So, already chopped dark chocolate, and now I'm going to add, I'm going to combine together this wet ingredient to the dry ingredient. So, the best way is using your hand to actually, you know, mix well. I see it. First, you're going to pour it this egg, then you're going to use, uh, now you're going to add your chocolate. And let's use a hand. The dough is ready, so I'm going to make a 24 cookies. I always use the same size for some reason. It's uh, equal on its portion of a two tablespoon. I'm going to use it. Oh, here's the thing. When you want to bake this one, this is everything's natural source. And um, when you make it, it's like if you want a thick cookies, just leave it like make like the balls and then just leave it there. But if you want a really flat, a, a thin crust cookie, you just have to press the thin because it doesn't really melt it and then spread widely the big cookie. So that's what you have to do. So I like a little bit big cookie. I'm use this one. So this is what you have to do. First, get the size of a cookie and I'm lightly just press gently with my palm together. There you go. So exactly 25 cookies. I tried to aim for 24, but it didn't happen. So, <laughs> okay, so this, I, I need actually two pan and look just in case, you know, two they stick together when they were baking. And Oven is ready, so I'm going to put this one. I'm, I'm going to bake this one for about 10 minutes. About from 9 minutes, I pay attention to see it's uh, the edge of cookie. If there's already a uh, golden brown, then I just remove them. So, yeah. Okay, it's ready. I, exactly, I put 10 minutes and then and I look at it, it's ready. So I'm gonna take them out. Did you see this? Oh my god, they look so gorgeous. Um here's the thing. Uh, you have to leave this one, it's really cool down on this uh, baking pan um, because if you want to have right away the hot cookie, what happened, the texture is like almost, it's very soft, it's like, a, it's like almost texture like a muffin. So when you leave this one, it's a, a cool down and then even better if you put in the refrigerator and it's like, oh my god, it's like it's so delicious, it's like a cookie texture. Because uh, those coconut oil, when it uh, cool temperature, it kind of uh, fold with, uh, become like a hard, right? So that gives you a uh, cookie texture. So I hope, I want to try this one, but uh, I want to wait because this is uh, really hot. So I hope you try this one, it's really easy to make it and then you can just uh, put it in the uh, airtight container and then you can even freeze them. So when you want to have them, you can have like a couple of cookies and it's going to satisfy you. It's just amazing value of all those nutrients you can have it.